Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. What I'd like to do is show you how to evaluate uh, logarithms without using a calculator. Now, um, obviously, for majority of these, or actually for all of these, you could type them into your calculator using the change of base formula. Unless your calculator can do different bases, but none of these I chose base 10, or I didn't do any natural logarithms. Um, but for all logarithms, you can always just type in your calculator. But I guarantee I could do all of these as fast as it would take you to uh, pick up your calculator and plug them in. And it's just because, you know, using um, using the understanding of logarithms has, has helped me been able to do all these problems as well as um, negative exponents. So that's one thing I want to write into here is, um, well, there's a couple things. First of all, remember we have a logarithm, base b of x equals y. We can always rewrite that in logarithmic form as b to the y equals x. The other thing I want to remind you is if I have an exponent in the denominator, I can always rewrite that as an exponent in the numerator, but just using it with a negative power. You could put that over 1 if you wanted to, but we don't really need to. So basically, by knowing these two understandings, I can do all of these problems without a calculator very, very quickly. The other thing, actually, we also want to know is using the one-to-one uh, -one property is sometimes helpful. Even though we're not solving, we're just evaluating. Um, a lot of these, you know, is very important to understand this because I think I'm going to do some difficult problems. So if we have uh, an exponent equal to another exponent where the bases are exactly the same, then their powers are same. So we can set their powers equal to each other. Okay. Now, you can see that these are just expressions that we want to evaluate. But you know, our basic mode of thinking is, again, to find what their value is. Now, remember, when we're looking at a logarithmic equation, for instance, log base 3 of 9, we know that what that answer is going to be is 2. And because what a logarithm says and means is 2 raised to, or I'm sorry, 3 raised to what power is 9? 2. And if you were to rewrite that in exponential form, it would look like this. 3 squared equals 9. So again, that's writing it into my exponential form. 3, the base, raised to what power gives you 9? That's what our logarithm is basi basically asking us. 3 raised to what power is 9? 2. And you can always think about rewriting it in exponential form to kind of check your answer. So in my first example, you know, I kind of tried to think of one that's going to be fairly simple. This is basically stating us 5 raised to what power is 25? Well, I know that 5 or 25 is a square number, and I know that 5 squared is 25. So therefore, the answer in this case is just going to be 2. Okay. Now, um, the next one is 3 raised to what power is 81? Now, again, without a calculator, you, know, you, you, cannot, you need to kind of start knowing the powers of 3, 4, 5, 6, 2. Um, so what I would start doing is if you're not really familiar what this would be, Start raising 3 to powers. 3 to the first power is 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 cubed, you might have to type in your calculator, but eventually you'll understand this, 27. 3 to the fourth power, you might have to type in your calculator originally, but you'll see that it's 81. So that means 3 raised to what power is 81? Well, the answer is equal to 4. OK? Um, now, in the next example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of think about it in another format. Now, you could do the exact same process I did over here and just start listing 2 to what power you know, equals that. But I also want you to think about this as maybe possibly in an equation. Here's an expression. Now, again, these are expressions. We're just evaluating. We're not equations. But really, what we, an expression is, you're saying it's equal to what value. So I'm actually going to replace that as an x. And then what I could do is using, by rewriting this as exponential form, I can rewrite this as 2 to the x equals 64. So therefore, again, you know, if you're having trouble understanding what the logarithm is, set it equal to x, and then rewrite in exponential form. 2 raised to what power is 64? Um, and we'll get to the one-to-one uh, -one property here in a second. But what we could do, again, is just think about this. Well, if I know that 2 to the first, 2 to the second, 2 to the third, 2 to the fourth, 2 to the fifth, 2 to the sixth, 2. 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So 2 to the 6th power. So therefore, I know that x, or that's equal to 6. OK? Um, now, where, the next, where that variable kind of comes in handy, though, is in a problem like this. 8 raised to what power is 4? Uh, I don't know. 8 raised, eight, eight raised to the first power is 8. So that's already larger than 4. So how would I do this? 
Again, if you kind of use the method that I did in the last one, you set it equal to x. Now rewriting it in exponential form gives me 8 to the x equals 4. Well, now I can use this one-to-one -one property that I stated. And by using the one-to-one -one property, what I notice is 8 and 4, they have to have the same base, right? Well, 8 and 4 do not have the same base. But they can, you can use the same base of 2. Because 2 squared is 4, and 2 cubed is 8. So then what I do is I'd rewrite this as 2 cubed raised to the x equals 2 squared. Now that they have the same base, I can just set the powers equal to each other. So I have 3x is equal to 2, so x equals 2 thirds. Okay. All right, so now we're going to get into some fractions. Um, again, into the same respect, main, main important thing that I can do is I can rewrite all, my, um, all fractions. Again, you could think of this as 4 to the positive first power. You can think of all fractions as rewriting them with negative powers. So now I can rewrite this as log base 4 of 4 to the negative first power. Instead of being it to the first power, you can write it to the negative first power. Now there's another rule of logarithms that you should remember. Uh, log base b of b equals 1. And log base b of b to the x equals x. Well, if I'm taking the log of the same base of 4 raised to the negative 1 uh, using this rule of logarithm, my solution is just going to be negative 1. Okay? Um, this example might be a little bit confusing. I have fraction and fraction. I can rewrite them as negative powers. Um, but again, what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing here is probably rewriting them in exponential form would probably make more sense for me. So I'm going to do 1 over 6 raised to the x equals 1 over 36. Okay. Now I'll use my negative powers. So I'll do 6 to the negative first raised to the x equals 36 raised to the x. Okay. Now I want to see, can, oops, that's negative first power, isn't it? Okay. Now I want to see, can I rewrite 6 and 36 to the same base? Well, yeah, 6, 36 squared is, is um, 6 squared is 36. So I get 6 to the negative x when I apply the power rule. Remember the power rule states if you have a, uh, an exponent raised to another exponent, you multiply them. Um, 36 I can rewrite as 6 squared times negative 1, which is raised to the x. Again, you're just going to multiply these. The 6's divide out using that 1 to 1 property. So I have negative x equals negative 2. What happened here? Why do I have an x? On? I don't have an x over here. Why is there an x over here? I think I was going crazy. So that equals negative 2. Divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. x equals 2. OK, in this case, uh, basically, again, what I'd like to do, uh, OK. Um, basically, in this case is, again, I could use my negative, x, negative powers like I did over here. So I can rewrite this as log base 2 of 8 to the negative first power. Now, again, that's still not really you know, helping me out, right? But again, think about this as using this rule. Can I rewrite 8 as a base 2? Because if I can rewrite it as a base 2, it's the base raised up to the, uh, of the same base. And yes, I can. Log base 2 of 8 can be written as 2 cubed raised to the negative 1, which is log base 2 of 2 to the negative 3, because you multiply those powers. So therefore, my answer is just equal to negative 3. OK, and last but not least, I have log of 1 third raised to the 27th. Again, what I would do in this case is I would set this equal to x, and I'd rewrite it. Um, as an exponential equation. Okay, then I'd use my negative powers, 3 to the negative 1. x equals 27. Then what I want to do is I say, can I rewrite 3 raised to um, 3 as, can I have um, 3 and 27 with the same base? And yes, 3 to the first power is 3, 3 to the third power is 27. So therefore, I just need to rewrite 27 as 3 cubed. 
Therefore, negative x equals 3, x equals 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you evaluate logarithmic expressions without using a calculator. Thanks.